Robert Rickert is just one day away from presenting his balanced budget for next year. A budget that is projected to have a $10 million deficit. Now to fix the shortfall, the mayor's budget either has to include ways to decrease spending like department cuts or ways to increase revenue like a property tax increase. So Mary Grace Shaw reached out to commissioners to see if they would agree to raise property taxes for a second year in the row. Last year, BIP homeowners saw a three mil property tax increase. This year, they could see an increase again, but it all depends on what changes Mayor Robert Rickert decides to make to next year's budget to prevent a projected $10 million deficit. I think there will definitely be some adjustments in this budget. And what changes commissioners will support. But I definitely would not be in favor of imposing an additional increase in taxes. Commissioner Elaine Lucas is one of nine bib commissioners. The budget needs approval from six commissioners to pass, but Lucas is already saying if this budget includes a mill increase, her vote is no. I just think it's unfair of us to continue asking our citizens to foot the bill. But where do the other commissioners stand on this issue? I reached out to others to see if they would vote in favor of this tax increase. Right now, the District 1 seat is empty, but in District 2, Commissioner Larry Schlesinger says he wants to wait and see what the mayor presents before making a decision. The same answer I got from Commissioners Scotty Shepard, Al Tillman, and Virgil Watkins. Commissioner Joe Allen says he agrees with Lucas and he will absolutely not agree to any property tax increase. The budget needs six votes to pass, and right now there are only eight commissioners because the District 1 seat is empty. Commissioner Burt Bivens never returned my calls, but Commissioner Mallory Jones says if they don't cut some funding for all outside agencies, he won't approve an increase. All these outside agencies are worthy. That's not the question. The question is, what can we afford? In Macon, Mary Grace Shaw, 13 WMAZ News. The mayor will present his budget tomorrow at 1 p.m. in the commission chambers. It's open to the public. Then commissioners have until June 30th to approve the budget.